Howdy everybody. Welcome back to Vlogmas. It's your pal Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy because today's Christmas Eve. We do not have a big day planned, but we do have some fun. I brought down two new special guests for the day. Um, this one because it's Christmas. Look at him. He's so cute. And then uh, Fantasia Mickey just because he's my favorite. So I started talking and now Barnum wants to play, of course. So I think everybody already knows the basic plan for today. I don't know why y'all are, I didn't even set y'all up straight or nothing. Uh, the plan is a charcuterie board. I'm pretty excited about it. Probably make it sometime this afternoon. Not fasting for any particular reason other than I normally don't eat breakfast. Just, I never really have, once I've been an adult, been much of a breakfast person. Except for tomorrow, I will have breakfast because I always have breakfast on Christmas morning. So, that's in the plans for tomorrow. But for today's charcuterie board, so I don't actually have a board. So, mine will be on a table. I'll probably put it on one of my cutting boards, which is flexible. Not, I don't use a like a board board. I use a flexible board so that I can move it and use it to put in other stuff. Anyway, nobody cares. It's early. I'm probably gonna take a nap today too. That's my plan. I mean, when I say it's early, it's it's after some. It's almost eight o'clock, but you know Barnum. <coughs> we talk about this all the time. So Barnum got up at seven thirty. We walked. It's cold outside. Um, and you can probably hear it in my voice and see it in my eyes. It rained all night long again. So just congestion galore. Happy Christmas Eve. We will pick you up sometime, sometime. This morning, I'm just going to catch up on YouTube, try to comment on videos that I know I missed. Um, and then... There shouldn't be too many. I mean, the people doing Vlogmas kind of post throughout the day. So, I said I was just going to watch Christmas movies all day, but I really do want to keep up with the Vlogmases. So, we'll watch a little YouTube. But for the most part of the day, we're going to watch Christmas movies. So, I plan on watching uh, Elf and A Christmas Story. And then, I did watch Claws again last night. I just, I like that little movie. Um... I don't know what I'll watch, but definitely Elf and A Christmas Story, because those are two of my favorite Christmas movies. And uh, nobody asked, but I think I've kind of figured out my issue is if it doesn't have Santa Claus, then my brain doesn't count it as a Christmas story, because there have been many movies that I was like, it's barely a Christmas movie, but... Movies like the Santa Claus movies. Oh, I may watch those. I actually haven't watched those Tim Allen versions in a long time. There's three of them, right? I think I'm, maybe I'll watch those. How many hours is that? I may not have enough hours for that. Well, I may be overstretching because I still have to do the charcuterie board. Uh, so, who knows? We're just going to watch Christmas movies and, and we're rambling because it's early and truth talking time. Uh, me, meaning, if you ever... If you ever meet me in person or know me in person and you want to make sure that you're getting the truth ask me early in the morning because my brain doesn't understand to even attempt a lie or to be quiet so we're just shh. we'll see you in a second and now it is time for tick tack toe <laughs> Is board game time everybody so the package I threw it on the floor so y'all could see y'all see it says eight there are nine pegs which is good because I complained about that yesterday so I figured we could play together I'm just gonna listen very intently for where y'all want to put your piece so hopefully this works out I'm gonna let y'all go first to make it an even playing field, okay? All right, so for, I gotta pick it up first. So what my plan is, I don't know what that was exactly. 
little piece of plastic or something. Anyway, is I'm just going to move around like this and put it in a hole. And then that'll be your spot. Okay? Where, tell me when I'm close to your spot. What do y'all what do y'all feel like right there? Oh, you picked the center. Alright, I feel you in the center. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to look for my piece. So I'm gonna move my piece right there. Okay, y'all's turn again. This may be a good trickier with the more pieces. I might not have thought it all the way through. Where do you wanna go? Where do you work right there? Alright. Okay, well I'm just gonna block that move then. And so, look, I'm going to, I, I, I feel like y'all might want to go right here. Okay, so we'll let you go right there. Okay, fine, fine, good times. So then I'm going to block you. So I'm going to go right here. Okay, so now, here we go, here we go. Where, where do you, why did I close my eyes? I don't need to close my eyes. I just, right here, y'all want to go? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I can't find a hole. There, you want that one? Okay. And so then, I'm going to block you. And then nobody wins. Draw. That was fun. It was a draw, though. But that feels like a good time. Did y'all enjoy that? I would play another round, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play more rounds. But that was just so that y'all got to play along, too. So I hope you enjoyed that little game of tic-tac-toe. I'm going to play a few more times and kind of play uh, speed tic-tac-toe and see if I can't accidentally beat myself because that, that's going to be my goal. Um, and then we'll do Legos. It's Darth Vader Day, so I'm pretty excited. Even though we all know that today is Darth Vader, it is still going to be exciting. But you don't have to guess, you don't have to wish. You can if you want, but it's Darth Vader in that it looks like a Death Star. Jumper? Ugly Christmas sweater. So I'm going to look in everything because it's Darth Vader. We're just going to make this part quick because we got other parts to the day today. Oh, look at that. It's Darth Vader. Oh, it comes with a lightsaber. Yay! It didn't show that in the photo. Well, actually, it didn't show. Oh, it didn't show. That's his face? Oh, wow, everybody. Oh, come on, camera. You can do it. You know you want to. But nope, it won't. It just won't focus for me. Okay, we're just going to not try. I thought that would be fun to see his face. Because it's not something you get to see on Darth Vader. Alright, his head just is rolling away so we have a body we have uh oh what is that oh it's his cape well, how does that go on and his head go on does that go over Oh no, I don't actually know what I'm doing. So let's put the lightsaber together. Nope. Nope. I think it was this way. Did we determine? Can we tell from the way they're holding it? Mm, yeah, I think it's the other way. Oh, well it may just be this way now. No, I got it. Okay. Okay, but if you put on his head, what, does this just go, this doesn't stay on on top, or does it? No, oh, because then his hat wouldn't fit. But now you, oh, it's got to go forward. I'm going to just slow, I think I'm going to just be slow slow about figuring this out. Meaning like it's taken me a minute. Not but then will his head fit? <laughs> the 
See, this shows like a cape. We didn't get a cape. We totally don't have a cape here. We have two of those things that don't make sense. It's because I'm putting it on upside down because I don't know what I'm talking about. Misty, just take a half a second and look at it. I was just so expecting this to be easy that I wasn't looking at it. It is, in fact, easy. I'm a little low-key mad now that he doesn't have his cape. But that's okay. This is Darth Vader. Yay, it's Darth Vader. I'm sorry I let that last one frustrate me a little bit. Thank you for holding, holding out and watching my Legos. Let's just see if it'll focus on his face. Oh, wait. Yeah, I want you to focus right there. Nope, nope. We're just going to end Legos there, and next up will be some... Oh, you know what? Actually, let me show you. I played until y'all beat me. I wish... I'll show you the board. I wish I could remember exactly what happened. I want to say I went here. I was playing as y'all. Y'all went here, and then I went here... I think that's right and then you went there so I had to go there to block and then you went there so I had to go there to block and then you went there and you won so I beat myself I beat <laughs> I beat myself at tic-tac-toe so we're just having a good time this evening uh even though I let Legos frustrate me I was having a good time before that I was listening to Megan Trainor's Christmas album again and Dolly Parton's Christmas album, and all the Pentatonics Christmas albums, and the Home Free Christmas album, just on shuffle. So, that was my playlist for tonight. That was me beating myself in Legos, no, in Tic-Tac-Toe, and you finally got to see Darth Vader. So. Next up will be Next Up. Next up, it's time to make a decoration, a little puppy decoration. So, it's this little foamy cutout. I guess technically you could do it either way, but you should, I think, do it with the brown side like it shows on the picture. So, we have a little bow tie, which I'm looking, just so y'all know, there's the picture... Maybe we'll put the picture in the top left hand corner. So let's move this over a little bit. But not too far because we want to leave room for me too. Because that's always fun. Okay, so a sweater. Let's just peel. Oh, take it out. Okay. Oh, alright. So let's do this. Let's do it like Legos. And first get all of our pieces ready. Sometimes I have good plans. Not normally, but sometimes. Okay, these are just little eyes. So we're in, oh wait. Oh, little eyes and a nose. We're just going to go ahead and place that then. It's so glittery. I'm going to have glitter for days. Oh, fun, fun, good times. Actually, it is kind of a little bit of fun, fun, good times. Oh, wait, no. It has to have a white piece first. So we'll wait on the rest of that. But I'm not going to break them out because they're tiny. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put on the hat because we can see the hat is the bottom layer over there. Are y'all having a good Christmas Eve? Or actually, when you're watching this, are y'all having a good Christmas Day? I sure hope so. I feel like I should pop that out. So I'm going to. 
because they should line up or else you can't offer oh, I already took the tape off of that one and and I haven't even started adult drinking yet I do plan on it though just not that y'all cared but I do plan on it y'all may figure that out later and now this is stuck and y'all can't see it it doesn't matter it's not stuck enough to matter line up our holes wonderful great job so there's this hat so then we can find let's do the sweater next how does this go what oh like this okay that took me a second I wasn't thinking of the white part as being a different piece this is kind of fun I'm having a pretty good time okay we're gonna have to pull it up there there's his little sweater there's his little hat which I did it at a bad angle so it's off center I'm gonna hate that and probably have to do another one. Oh man here's that bone which goes yeah see I was looking at it from a down angle so now everything's off and I have OCD so that's gonna bother me it's okay it really, really just doesn't matter. Why are there three white circles? Okay, two for the eyeballs and one for the puff ball. Okay. So eyeball number one. Like that. What? Was his nose always crooked like that? I felt like I placed his nose really, really well. This is going to be just a crazy looking puppy. So let's just finish him off. Alrighty then. So we'll give him his little pupils. We're not going to overthink it. We're going to put the ball on. Uh oh, now our battery's flashing. This is just a mess of a show we got going on right now. Let's see how much we can get done. Let's put on this little bow. No, I think it's this bigger way. <clears throat> and then we have this white piece. I think that's wrong. Damn, that's not even where it goes. I'm just gonna have to pull that off. I can't with myself right now. This goes here, I think. And this goes here. we just got quiet again because here I thought this was going to be I mean I, it is, I'm having a great time actually this is shockingly entertaining why I don't actually know or understand this is so little a child would break that in half a second I am about to break it in half a second this part may be not the best says not for children under three but I don't even know that a four-year-old or a three-year-old because it says under three which means three could do it I don't even know that they would uh, have the dexterity anyway talk to enough about it there he is there's there's mine yeah we did it it looks good from this angle. Arts and crafts, check!
Next up, the charcuterie board. I was going to have this video of me putting my charcuterie board together, but y'all are not going to get that because I don't know if that's what caused it, but I had a small anxiety attack. It's fine now. I took a little 30 minute nap. I don't, I think I fell asleep, but I set a timer for 30 minutes, played some pink noise, relaxed. So I thought I would show you again what you might have seen if you saw my Target haul and the additional items that I have that I will put on my charcuterie board and then I will show you the final product but the assembly is too much for my brain to handle right now so as a refresh we have the Genoa salami with these weird looking crackers um, and provolone cheese we have the Casalingo uncured Italian salami with white cheddar and dried cherries. We have just a regular salami and cheddar cheese slice. We have the Gr Griminelli. Oh no, is that the brand? Sorry. <laughs> it's prosciutto air dried pork with mozzarella cheese and grissini. That's why I was thinking because I remembered them little breadstick things. And then we have another salami with provolone cheese and almonds. So that's what I had in my tar. Oh, and the O Snap, the same ones that make the uh, what are the dilly bots or something. So I have the green beans and the carrots. I have my mini pickles, my petites pickles. I also found these asparagus from the Dollar Tree. That's a lot of asparagus for a dollar. It's not pickled or anything, so it may be soggy. Not sure that I'm gonna like that the most. But then I have garlic stuffed olives. These are, these are my favorite. These things are so delicious. You can cut them up, you can put them in a salad, you can just eat it. I take the garlic out, eat it separate. It's so good, I love those olives. Then I have some pepperoni and cream cheese specifically for the pepperoni because I love to take the pepperoni and just grab a little cream cheese and eat it. It's delicious that way. I have the salt and pepper roasted macadamia nuts that I'm going to put on there. And then the last thing, which I realized somehow, I, and I've already gotten into, I got hungry. So I had nachos. Did I already say that? But I got hungry and had nachos. But I, I missed this bag in my haul. I, I knew, y'all couldn't probably tell, that I'm like, I'm missing something. And I kept looking for a bag and I kept finding my pants. So, but this is what I was missing. I bought Triscuits. I had the almond flour from Fat Snacks still, but those are like twice as much and half as much. Twice as much cost, half as much product. And if I'm just gonna do a cheat meal tomorrow, or a free meal tomorrow, or whatever you wanna call it, I got Triscuits. Cause this stuff is gonna be amazing on a Triscuit. Forget about it, with green, sliced up green olives, meat and cheese, it's gonna be fantastic. And then also, just for funsies, put some sunflower seeds. These are my new current favorite, sweet and spicy because they're sweet and spicy and it reminds me of the sweet and spicy kettle corn that I used to always get so that's what I have right now as I start making it who knows we may end up throwing other stuff on there if we do I'll explain what I added once I show you my plate here we have the finished platter we have the sunflower seeds, green beans, carrots, triscuits, the random breadsticks, crackers, dried cherries, almonds, different kinds of cheeses, pepperoni, and other meats that I don't remember which ones are which, macadamia nuts, petites, and some olives. And that's it guys, that's my first charcuterie board. It's nothing great, but I'm pretty proud of myself and super excited to eat it. 
So once I started putting it together, the charcuterie board was fun. And just so you know what happened, because I said I didn't have a board, like a hard cutting board, which I don't, but I have a lap desk for my laptop that's made out of wood. So I put my cutting board on the wood and then put the stuff on the outside in the little silicone cups. So it was really great. I didn't, maybe I should show y'all an after picture, but probably not. Cause I'm just gonna eat on it throughout the rest of the day. Anything I don't eat, I'll just put in a baggie and then eat it throughout the next couple of days. So, it's the last day for chocolate. This is it, this is the big one. It's number 24. I'm gonna guess a present. What are y'all gonna guess? Again, it's different and it has even a big number 24, but I'm not sure what's different about it. I wanna make sure I can get in there to open it. As it gets less full, for some reason, it gets a little trickier to open or I've just forgotten how to open stuff. So I'm gonna call it a present. What do y'all think? I don't know what this is. Oh, so this is not something that we have had before. You could say it's sort of close to a star. People sometimes put these in place of stars on their trees. It's a snowflake. I bet every one of them was the same though, but that's okay, Chuck Zero. You've killed this advent calendar. Oh, it's so thick. Oh, dang, that's a lot of chocolate. It is really a good deal. I mean, I got it when it was on sale. I know I didn't even pay $10 for it. Look how thick that chocolate is. No, you can't have any chocolate snow for puppies. So I did do a lot. I ate some Triscuits with the cheese. I ended up not cutting up any olives. I just literally broke them apart with my fingers. Which, you know, whatever. It worked and was less work. Because I had to cut up like the carrots and the green beans to fit. Anyway, it was a fun little project. Maybe next time, um, <clears throat> it'll be the same. I don't know what I'm doing, so it'll probably be just like that, but it was still fun. This is thick chocolate, so rich. I mean, I appreciate getting double the amount, but I can already tell you I'm full. We may have to save this chocolate. No, I can't save it with the other chocolate, though, because I've had my mouth all over it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to decide to not eat the rest of it, Chalk Zero. And I want you to know this is nothing against you. It's against the fact that I have had a lot of meat and a lot of cheese and a lot of pickled things. And in an adult beverage. We're having a great Christmas Eve on myself. On myself. All by myself. It's been a great Christmas on my own. And it's been a great Christmas Eve. Sorry, Christmas Eve by myself. So, on myself. That's how things like that happen. I just thought I should stop, back up, and break down why my brain said that out of my mouth. Not that you cared. But that's a little inside intimacy. So, yeah. So, we woke up. We took a walk again today, not quite as long as yesterday, but still a nice little walk for Barnum because it was cold. I'm not going to lie. It was cold. I'm glad the cold came back through because it was like 78 degrees the day before. Um, that would be yesterday, Christmas Eve Eve. Anyway, so I hope you've had a great Christmas Eve. We've watched Christmas movies. I haven't watched Elf yet, but that's going to be the next one on my list. I did watch A Christmas Story and I watched the old miracle on 34th street so next i'm gonna watch elf sorry i had a root beer in my adult beverage and it's giving me a little bit of the belches excuse normally i would be on vacation right now and that would be okay but never mind only like three people get that joke so we're just gonna move on but uh today's christmas for you so merry christmas if you celebrate christmas if you don't happy holidays 
Uh, we're still going to do Vlogmas again through the end of the year. Uh, so subscribe if you know how. Hit the bell notification if you do want to know when I'm posting a video. Otherwise, come back every day for the next week and you'll know that I'll be here at 2 p.m. Central. I've not yet determined what my upload schedule will be after the new year, but I'll be sure to keep you posted. I'm obviously going to stay on the keto weight loss journey that I'm on. And otherwise, we're just going to call it a night and laugh at a movie and spread Christmas cheer by singing loud for all to hear. So like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, comment down below, what'd you get for Christmas? Did you get what you asked for? Did you make the nice list? If not, are you gonna like put all your coal together and make a fire and eat something delicious like a steak? Somebody's having steak. Who's having steak? Shelly, are you having steak? Somebody's having steak. That sounds good. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Merry Christmas Eve to me, Merry Christmas to you, until tomorrow, I'll see you real soon.